Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian, I'm here today at the Rock Island Auction House, I'm checking out some of the cool guns that they're selling in their September 2015 premiere auction. And I have, in this little tiny leather case, a little tiny pistol. Aw, oh, isn't that cute? This is a 4.25 millimeter men's Lilliput. Uh, men's as M-E-N-Z. Now, men's made these in 4.25, which is tiny, that's like uh, 17 caliber. They also made them in 25 auto and 32 auto. Not surprisingly, those two were far better sellers than this incredibly minute little thing. It's not quite the smallest handgun ever made, but it's pretty close. It's probably the smallest that anyone actually took seriously. So why don't I bring the camera back here because I bet you can't even hardly see this thing from way back out there. All right, you probably actually still can't see this thing because it's really tiny. Let me go ahead and zoom in. I'm gonna zoom a little more. There we go. Now you can actually see this thing. So this is our little leather, probably, frankly, purse or pocket holster. Little snap on it. Fits the gun very nicely. And then this is our actual gun itself. These were actual serious guns meant for personal protection, barely. Um, like I said, not a whole lot of them were sold in the 4.25 millimeter caliber. Uh, this one is serial number 690. I am not sure if this, the different calibers have their own serial number ranges. I suspect they're actually a single consecutive range. Um, you will see a lot of sources claiming that these guns were manufactured from 1920 to 1927. Um, I actually suspect they probably went into production in 25. Every one you find is marked either Model 1925 or Model 1927, and I've yet to find any reference to one that was actually produced earlier. Not a whole lot else to say about these. Um, they are a simple blowback pistol. We have a detachable magazine down here. Holds eight rounds. And uh, the, the ballistics on this we're at a 12 to 15 grain projectile going about 800 feet per second. So that gives you a grand total of 17 foot-pounds of energy, which is minuscule in comparison to anything else, but, well, it's something, I suppose. Disassembly is also very easy. We have a little protruding buttony bit back here. Push that in, and we can pull the slide up. The slide comes off. There's our slide, our recoil spring, and its guide come out, and then we have a frame. This is a striker-fired pistol, so when I pull the trigger, unless I have the safety on, take the safety off, when I pull the trigger, you can see all it does is simply pull this sear down, which would release the striker and fire the gun. Here inside, you can see the striker and the firing pin right there. And then we have a little tiny extractor up top. This has all the components of a blowback automatic pistol, just a lot smaller than you're used to seeing them. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, despite it being a gun so small you can't even see it from back there. If you'd like to own this, uh, I'll tell you what, this takes very little storage space in a collection. Uh, it is, of course, coming up for sale at Rock Island, so check the link in the description text below. That'll take you to their catalog page on it. You can see all their pictures, their description, and place a bid or come on down here in person and bid, bid live. Now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.